CERN is really the epicenter, I would say, of nuclear and especially particle physics. It is really where all the recent discoveries in, in high energy particle physics have been achieved. CERN is located at the border between France and Switzerland, but its facility is so big, the Large Hadron Collider goes between the two countries, and so particular experiments are actually located in France, while other experiments are located in Switzerland. It is truly an international adventure there. You are surrounded by hundreds, if not thousands, of other physicists from all over the world who are working together trying to advance our understanding of nature. You'll see Nobel Prize winners, accomplished scientists, along with students and postdocs, and everybody's there talking shop, and that and it's just an amazing experience. We actually have working on the CMS experiment at CERN, 35 Rice people at the moment, 25 of whom are based here at Rice, and 10 of whom are actually based permanently at CERN. And then the people at Rice are going back and forth all the time. The sort of science we're doing is only possible through large international collaborations. The experiments are so big and complex, it's not possible for even one country to take on these experiments. And so we have to work together in international partnerships to get this work done. And at Rice, we have an incredibly strong team. We're making very important contributions. We've evolved, we are involved in the tracker. We are involved in new detectors that we are currently putting together to be installed in a few years. In 2026, there's another long-term shutdown and Rice has several things going in. So one of those is another muon detector it has one board on the chamber called an opti-hybrid board. It takes signals from the detector and basically outputs them as optical signals. There's a big universal upgrade happening across all the LHC experiments. Phase two is what we call it. We have new electronics and new firmware. The firmware's done all at Rice. We are presented currently with data at 100 terabytes of data a second. And how you actually filter through that in real time and apply machine learning and that is a tremendous technological challenge. And in fact, the next version of the experiment, we will be presented with data at a petabyte of data a second, which is just mind boggling. And we are coming up with electronics, uh, machine learning tools, various other technologies to be able to cope with that. We are getting to the most basic questions of our existence. And then there's a university, that's the sort of thing should, that should interest us. We are studying physics at the smallest scales humanly possible, which it turns out is what seeds the structure of the entire universe when it goes through the Big Bang. And that. Uh, so it's phenomenally important, but also it's an incredibly important to Rice that we have this international presence. There are people here working what comes after the LHC. And again, some of that may be involved at CERN. It will definitely be an international collaboration.